sometimes life throws you a curveball. Sometimes the world around you gives you more than you think you can handle. But guess what? Nature is made to survive. Animals, including us, can survive amazingly harsh conditions. Never say never. Here are some animals that have learned and evolved to adapt to some of the worst conditions in the world. The higher up a mountain that you go, the thinner the air gets. The air gets thin, it gets cold, you have almost no flat ground to walk on. It's all steep cliff faces. So what kind of animals live at these high, high mountaintops? How about a mountain cow? <laughs> Yaks have developed huge hearts and lungs. So, despite the fact that they look very similar to a regular cow that you would see on a dairy farm, they actually have much, much, much larger hearts and lungs, and that allows them to take in more air because there's less oxygen in the air. So they need to take in a lot more of it in order to survive. They also have a thick coat, very, very thick coat. So they're big, fluffy mountain cows. They have short legs to conserve heat. A lot of the time in animals from different areas, you'll see that animals that live in colder climates will have shorter limbs because the farther out away from your heart your legs are, your fingers, your toes, things like that, those little pieces, the farther away from your heart they are, the more likely they are to be able to get frostbite. These yaks have shorter legs than a standard cow you would see at a dairy farm, specifically so that they can hold in all of that heat and protect themselves. Their hooves are actually pointed, which allows them to maneuver around the rocks easier. Mountain goats are one of the cutest options for an adaption that you will ever see. So they have fur that comes down over their legs but only about the top half of their legs is extra, extra thick. So it looks like they're wearing fluffy bloomers. This protects them from the cold, but that keeps their hooves more open for being able to be on the ground and jumping from rock to rock. Their hooves are hard around the edges and soft in the middle. So that allows them to actually form around rock edges. So if they stand on a pointed rock, it sinks in a little bit into the center of their foot so they can grip it. And they also act like rubber. It allows them to bounce from rock to rock, which is very entertaining to watch. They're so difficult to catch, bouncing from rock to rock on these steep cliff faces, that they don't really have very many predators. However, every once in a while, an eagle will come and snatch one. Eagles are an awful lot bigger than people expect them to be. We kind of anticipate them to be like big pigeons, but they are huge. So they can snatch a mountain goat right off the edge of the cliffside. Now, what animal is known as the ghost of the mountain? The beautiful endangered snow leopard. Snow leopards are perfectly adapted to their environment everything down to their coloring. They blend in so perfectly against the gray and white rocks and snow background of the mountains that they live on. They have fur on their bellies that are five inches thick. That's really, really thick, dense fur. It helps protect them from extreme cold. No other big cat species has ever been found to survive in the extremely high altitude and the extreme cold that snow leopards live in. They scale rock faces because they have the use of their super long tail. If you put them in comparison to another large cat species like a lion or a tiger, in comparison to their body size, their tail is much, much longer and a lot thicker. So they're able to use that tail to counteract the way that their body is shifting and to be able to control their balance very, very well. Their tail is actually the length of their entire bodies, which helps them when they use their super thick fluffy tails like a blanket. They'll lay out and wrap their tail around themselves to block out cold mountain winds. 
like a lot of cats, they're very playful and they like to play with their tails a lot. So sometimes you can see them actually biting their tails or holding on to their tails. It's super adorable. They also have big, wide paws covered in fur. Now these wide, wide paws help them spread out their weight over the snow. So it works just like snowshoes so that they don't sink down into the soft snow. Pretty cool, huh? They're absolutely gorgeous.